an orca calf swimming for survival off northern Vancouver Island. It's stayed near its mother a day after she became beached in an inlet near Zabalis, an area known for fast-changing tides. She was likely in pursuit of uh, a harbor seal, and um, unfortunately, she ended up rolling over on her side. So when the tide came in, uh, she drowned despite the best efforts of locals to refloat her. The whale was giving a really big fight. Florence Bruce was one of the group who waded into the waters trying to push the whale back to sea. It was moving its tail, trying to help us too, but she ended up passing away. Biologists say they knew the 14-year-old orca. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans is now investigating her death and trying to save the life of her calf, just under two years old, left orphaned. Fortunately, it's making a lot of loud calls and uh, if if it can swim out on its own at high tide, or uh, if it needs us uh, to help it out. Or once it's out in open water, it can continue to call. If the calf is going to survive, it will need a way out of the inlet and then find its extended family. Researchers are looking around for nearby pods. Well, the thing with killer whales is that uh, they're very much like us in uh, their lifespans and their family bonds. And we also know these whales very well. Meanwhile, those who tried to save the mother orca mourn. I'm so sad inside. It's kind of like I lost a relative, which because our First Nations people are so close to our land and our animals, right? Stephanie Mercier, CBC News, Vancouver.